Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem of the day that is minimum distance between two numbers. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? You are given an array A of n elements. Okay, so we have an array which has n elements. Find the minimum index based distance between two distinct elements of the array x and y. So what it basically is saying is we need to find the minimum distance between two distinct elements x and y which are given to us in the question. So let us say x is at index 2 and y is at index 5 then the distance between them is 3. Okay, so all such possible distances between x and y we have to calculate from the given array because there can be multiple pairs of x and y and out of that we need to return the minimum distance possible. Okay, and distance is calculated based on index. Okay, so if x is at index i1, y is at index i2, then the distance between them is i1 minus i2 absolute value. Okay return minus 1 if either x or y does not exist in the array. So let us assume there is no x in the array or there is no y in the array or there is no x as well as y in the array. In that case we will return minus 1 because if elements are only not present then how can we calculate the minimum distance right. So for example if this is the given array and x is 1 and y is 2. Now understand one thing first element and second element first is x second is y. So we can calculate distance between these two first is x, fourth is y. So, we can also calculate distance between these two. They also form a pair of x, y. The distance between the first index and second index is 1. The distance between first index and fourth index is 3. The minimum distance out of 1 and 3 is 1. So, our output is 1. Explanation x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. There are two distances between x and y which are 1 and 3 out of which least is 1. Okay. This is the second example x is 42 y is 12 so I do not think there is 42 as well as 12 so the output is minus 1. Complete the function minimum distance which takes the array n3 integers n x and y and is the size of the array as input parameters and return the minimum distance between x and y in the array. Return minus 1 if either x or y does not exist in the array. Expected time complexity is big O of n and expected auxiliary space is constant and the constraints are given here. So now if we think about solving this problem, so basically what they have given is let us assume we have an array A which has n elements, okay. This is our array, okay. Uh, let us take it a big, uh, bigger, okay. So this is our given array. Now we, uh, its size is n, there are n elements in it. Now in the input we are given two integers x and y, okay. So basically we need to find the minimum distance between the pair x and y. x and y will be distinct, okay. It is given in the question, okay. So let us say here we have x, uh, here we have y, uh, here we have y, uh, here we have x and let us say uh, here we have y and here also we have y, okay. Now understand one thing, so basically what they are trying to say is whenever we get, we can get different pairs of x and y, so let us say this is i1, this is i2, this is i3, this is i4, uh, this is i5, this is i6. So basically they are saying whenever you get a pair of x and y then you need to calculate distance between them and the minimum distance out of all such possible pairs is my answer okay. So distance between these two x and y is how much i1 minus i2 absolute value we have to calculate distance based on indexes distance between i1 and i3 is i1 minus i3 right uh, distance between i3 and i4 is i3 minus i4 right distance between i1 and i5 is i1 minus i5 absolute value and so on. Understand one thing, it does not necessarily mean x should come before y, x can be after y also. We just need to calculate distance between two elements whose value is one is x and another is y, okay. So out of all such possible values, we need to return the minimum possible value. Now understand one thing, one way to do this is to use two for loops by the brute force method and whenever we get one value as x, another value as y, calculate the distance between them, take one answer variable and store the minimum distance out of all possible distance in the answer variable, right. But that will take big O of n square time because we are using two for loops. Here we need to do it in big O of n time, we need to think of something more efficient. So now understand here one thing that the minimum distance will be always when uh, the x and y are adjacent, right? So what I am trying to say is, see, uh, this is one x and y, right? So if this is one x and y, then this distance will definitely be less than this x and y. 
because this y is nearer to this okay so there is no need to calculate this distance again uh, this x and y distance will be definitely less than this x and y distance are you getting my point uh, then what can we else say so uh, this uh, now there is no x more right let us take one more x this x and y distance will be definitely less than this x and y distance right so what i'm trying to say is for all the values of x either the nearest y is on the uh, absolute uh, left side the nearest left side or the nearest right side similarly for all the y's the nearest x for that y is either on the next uh, x on the left side or the next x on the right side okay for this x this y will not give the minimum distance because there is already one y here so what i can do is i can start traversing from left to right i can maintain two variables one is xi and one is yi xi is the index of the last x which was encountered and yi is the index of last y which was encountered and whenever we get xi and yi with some valid value we will compare it with the answer variable okay so what we can do is we can initialize both of them as minus 1 okay now here there are some random values okay which are neither x nor y okay so i start traversing from here i encountered x so its index is i1 so i'll say xi is equals to i1 okay now but yi is minus 1 so there is no reason of comparing uh, the distance between x and y with the answer because we have not encountered y yet now i moved further i encountered y so i said yi is equals to i2 now xi is not minus 1 yi is not minus 1 it means we have found a pair this x and this y so what i'll say answer is equals to minimum of answer comma xi minus yi right so that is i1 minus i2 so we have considered this pair okay now we will go further okay so uh, let us say we again encountered y okay so what i'll change i'll change yi equals to i3 okay now uh, again xi and yi are not uh, uh, they are not minus 1 so i can compare it with the answer so i'll again compare it but answer will not change because this distance is obviously more than this but the magical part is yi has uh, now become i3 why it is magical part because now x will become i4 and we do not require i2 anymore because for all the indexes greater than i3 whenever i encounter x this will be nearer than this so i did not require this value anymore so i changed it to uh, i3 so whenever we encounter x or y we uh, update the value of x i and y i now i moved further and i encountered i4 so x is equals to i4 okay so now the current value of x i and y i are this so i'll again compare it with the answer and if this is less than this it will get updated now again i'll move further and y will become i5 then i'll again compare uh, i4 and i5 uh, distance between them with my answer variable then i'll again get y and then i'll again get x okay so basically what i'm trying to do is i'll start moving from left to right whenever i encounter x i'll update the xi value when i update uh, whenever i encounter y i'll update the yi value and i'll uh, whenever xi and yi both are not minus 1 i'll compare it with the answer variable and in this way we will get the minimum value of uh, distance between x and y in the given array how because as we saw here your uh, y uh, got updated from i2 to i3 and it was true because further if i encounter any x this y would be nearer than this y right so i no longer needed the index of this y so i updated it from i2 to i3 and that updation will go at every step now let's look at its actual code so if we look at the actual code so i have taken answer variable as minus 1 initially then i have taken x i and y i as minus 1 i have taken one variable i to iterate then for i equals to 0 to n minus 1 if a of i is x then first of all update x i value is equals to current index i if y i is not minus 1 so if y was encountered before then only we can calculate distance between x and y so then we will calculate the answer variable now if answer equals to equals to minus 1 it means this is the first pair of x and y because answer was initialized with minus 1 so i'll directly say answer equal to absolute value between x i and y i otherwise 
आंसर इक्वल्स टू मिनिमम ऑफ करंट आंसर एंड एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्स आई एंड वाई आई सिमिलरली वेन आई एनकाउंटर वाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई अपडेट वाई आई इक्वल्स टू आई एंड इफ एक्स आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू माइनस वन इट मीन्स एक्स वॉज एनकाउंटर्ड बिफोर इफ आंसर इज नॉट इक्वल टू इक्वल टू माइनस वन दिस इज द फर्स्ट एक्स एंड वाई पेयर देन आंसर इक्वल टू एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्स आई एंड वाई आई otherwise answer equal to minimum of current answer and absolute difference between xi and yi and finally i'll return answer so if i do not encounter any pair it will be minus 1 only i'll return minus 1 otherwise i'll return the minimum distance what would be the time complexity time complexity would be big o of n because we are using one for loop of size n what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here would be constant because we are only using some variables okay we have not declared any array or something now let's submit this code okay so let's submit it so we have solved this question successfully i hope you understood the solution completely thank you